All right, so this game is called Chase the Ace. And you're going to start by shuffling the deck, and you're going to keep it in a pile in the middle of all the players, and each player is going to take a card off the deck. You may look at it, but don't show any other of the other players. We'll show you so you can see what we're talking about. And you also will need, each player will need three tokens. So it can be whatever you want. We just use coins. Um, last time I played it, we used like chocolate kisses or something. So, um, and how you, the goal of the game is not to be the person with the lowest card because you lose a token if you end up being the person with the lowest card. Um, to get rid of your card if you feel like this card sucks, um, then you can exchange with the person beside you. So how that would work is let's say I'm the dealer, so David would go first. He would look at his card and think, okay, is it really, like, is a higher number or is it too low of a number? Again, aces are the lowest, so they're the worst, and kings are the best, so. Yeah, aces are low in this game. So I'm going to look at my card and think, does she have something higher or lower? Because if she has something higher, I obviously want it. And you exchange with the person to your left. So in this instance, it would, be it would just be us. So, so, I'm going to say, what do I say? You say exchange, exchange. if you want to exchange. If you don't want to exchange, it's called stand. Yeah. So, you're trading? I'm trading. Now, if he is trading an ace, two, or three, he has to announce what he's trading. I thought it was just a two. No, ace, two, or three. Okay. So, none of those? Okay. Nope. Also, now, if Britta was yes. to have a king, she could say, I have a king, and that denies... No. You can say cuckoo. That's the real, that is the legit term. You yell cuckoo, and then you have to reveal that you actually have a king in front of you, and you have to put it face up. So, I do not have a king, so I cannot not trade with him. So, I have to trade with him. So, then David is stuck with that card. <laughs> and I know what I traded with him, so I'm actually going to stay because this is a higher number. If I were to trade, let's say he gave me like a really low card, lower than my card that I traded him. Yeah, let's, let's say, say a four. Let's say like I had the five and I originally traded her and I got an eight. Oh, sorry, that was an eight. So, so <laughs> if I have, let's say he traded me for a four, I have as the dealer, I trade with the deck. Um, because by the time it gets all the way around the table, I kind of know who has what. Um, so I get to sit here and think, all right, do I trade or do I stay? So in this instance, I would trade because it's a low number. And I know what I traded him was higher than this number. So I'm going to trade and I got this. So at the end of the game, everyone reveals. And David would lose a token, so he puts it in the middle. Yeah. And then you shuffle all the cards back in. Or if you're like us and we're lazy, you just put them in the middle. Or yeah. just put them in the bottom, wherever. And you draw again. So the first person to lose all three tokens loses. Um, there's really only one winner. Everyone else loses. So if you're playing with a lot of people, it's the last person who has a token. So in this instance, like, David would win. <laughs> so that is Chase, Chase the Ace. Ace.